Connor, can you recap a little bit your summer, what you did? I know you were in the Cape this summer, but uh, just talk about your development and what you did uh, with your team this summer. Uh, you know, I, after we got back from Omaha, I left about four or five days after that for uh, Cape Cod. Um, spent about a little over a month there, and I uh, was able to, you know, get a good amount of innings. You know, I made the All-Star game, which was a tremendous blessing, um, two years in a row. And, uh, you know, I just kind of worked to refine my pitches, you know, so I could come out and have a good fall, you know, come out and continue what we did last year. A couple months now removed from the national championship. What do you remember most about that run in Omaha? Uh, I think just how all of us were pulling for each other, you know. Uh, it was such a special group of guys, you know. Uh, we had a great team, you know, but we had great chemistry. You know, we, we were on a mission, and I think that showed. You've been on campus now for a week uh, with school. What's been the response from some of your friends or uh, maybe fellow student athletes around McHale uh, about the national championship? Uh, I've gotten a few congratulations and you know, stuff like that. I think the coolest thing is seeing uh, all the all the students for the own Omaha shirts, seeing a bunch of those. So, you know, just trying to, you know, get back in the mix of things, which is good. Uh, your last question for you, Connor. Uh, you're here at Chase Field uh, with most of the returning guys from the national championship season. What are you looking forward to uh, with this new group and, and the new season as you look to defend the title? Uh, you know, I'm just excited to get back out there and get after it. Um, you know, we got a lot of new guys, but, you know, I think they're going to come in and, you know, they know that we're on a mission, you know, that they're going to hopefully they respond well.